Okay, this is dealing with counting elements and counting atoms within a formula or a molecule. So, the first thing we need to do is let's look at, you've got two examples at the top, but I'm going to do the first row, number one, two, and three with you. So let's look at number one, NaOH. And the first thing I want you to do is underline the capital letters. N O H. Okay? And then we're going to write N A O H. I want you to look up what N A stands for, and that's sodium. O stands for oxygen, and H stands for hydrogen. So we have three elements. That's the first part of the question. We have three elements in our item. Now, are there any numbers in the subscript here? behind those. No, there are not. So these are all going to be ones. So we have one Na, we have one atom of oxygen, and we have one atom of hydrogen. We're going to add those up, and that equals three atoms total. That's the second part of our question. We have three elements and three atoms. Let's look at the next one. HNO3. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and underline our capital letters, which we have no lowercase letters. We're going to rewrite them. H N and O. And H is hydrogen. N is nitrogen. And O is oxygen. And I'm looking behind each of the capital letters at the subscripts, which are the numbers that are below. And I have nothing here, so these are ones. but I have three oxygen. Now I have three elements, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. And I have one, two, plus three, which would equal five atoms within this molecule. I have one molecule of, I mean, one atom of hydrogen, one atom of nitrogen, and three atoms of oxygen. Let's do one more. MgCl2. Underline our capital letters. Rewrite them. Mg. Cl. That's two elements. And it's magnesium. Chlorine. And I'm looking at the subscripts. And I have one atom of magnesium and two atoms of chlorine for a total of three atoms. So for that, I have three atoms. 
for each time I'm going to underline my capital letters. Now down here in the bonuses, I have a coefficient and I have subscripts and then I have parentheses with subscripts. What this means is I have PO, PO4 two times. So really this is and I have two of this entire molecule. So I have SR3PO4PO4. PO4, and then I have another one that is SR3PO4PO4. PO4. That's the two separated, separated out. And the PO4, PO4 is this separated out right there. So now I'm going to count my capitals. But I'm not going to repeat count the ones that repeat. So I have SR, I have P, and I have O. P is phosphorus, O is oxygen, and I'm going to have to look up what SR is on my periodic table, because I am not sure what SR is, so I'm looking at my chart, which is really big, and it's strontinium number 38. So I have stro stron tinlum. Okay. So in this problem, I still only have three elements, even though there's a lot of letters there. Three elements making up this. But if I go down here and I count everything up, I have three and three. So I have a total of six strenulum. Phosphorus, I have one, two, three, four of them. And oxygen, I have four, eight, 12, 16. For a total of 26 atoms. These are bonuses, superstar bonuses. Each one you get right, I will add one point. Two, so it's plus one to your hundred for your turned in activity. Now you're going to go through and do numbers four through twelve for your homework. There was a video you should have watched with this as well. And um, please email me if you have any questions.